Abraham took another wife, and her name was Keturah. She bore him Zimron, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. Jokshan became the father of Sheba and Dadan. The sons of Dadan were Asherim, Ledishim, and Leomim. The sons of Midian, Ephah, Epher, Anak, Abida, and Eldaah. All these were the children of Keturah. Abraham gave all that he had to Isaac, but to the sons of the concubines who Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts. He sent them away from Isaac his son while he yet lived, eastward to the east country. These are the days of the years of Abraham's life which he lived, one hundred seventy-five years. Abraham gave up the spirit and died in a good old age, an old man and full of years, and was gathered to his people. Isaac and Ishmael, his sons, buried him in the cave of Machpelah, in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar the Hittite, which is before Mamre, the field which Abraham purchased of the children of Heth. There was Abraham buried with Sarah his wife. It happened, after the death of Abraham, that God blessed Isaac his son. Isaac lived by Beir Lahai Roy. Now this is the history of the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's handmaid, bore to Abraham. These are the names of the sons of Ishmael by their names, according to the order of their birth. The firstborn of Ishmael, Nebaioth, then Kedar, Adbeel, Mibsam, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hadad, Tema, Jetur, Nafish, and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names, by their villages and by their encampments, twelve princes according to their nations. These are the years of the life of Ishmael, one hundred thirty-seven years. He gave up the spirit and died, and was gathered to his people. They lived from Havilah to Shur, that is before Egypt, as you go toward Assyria. He lived opposite all his relatives. This is the history of the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham became the father of Isaac. Isaac was forty years old when he took Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Padan Aram, the sister of Laban, the Syrian, to be his wife. Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife, because she was barren. The Lord was entreated by him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. The children struggled together within her. She said, If it be so, why do I live? She went to inquire of the Lord. The Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb. Two peoples will be separated from your body. The one people will be stronger than the other people. The elder will serve the younger. When her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. The first came out red all over like a hairy garment. They named him Esau. After that his brother came out, and his hand had hold on Esau's heel. He was named Jacob. Isaac was sixty years old when she bore them. The boys grew. Esau was a skillful hunter, a man of the field. Jacob was a quiet man living in tents. Now Isaac loved Esau, because he ate his venison. Rebekah loved Jacob. Jacob boiled stew. Esau came in from the field, and he was famished. Esau said to Jacob, Please feed me with that same red stew, for I am famished. Therefore his name was called Edom. Jacob said, First, sell me your birthright. Esau said, Behold, I am about to die. What good is the birthright to me? Jacob said, Swear to me first. He swore to him. He sold his birthright to Jacob. Jacob gave Esau bread and stew of lentils. He ate and drank, rose up and went his way. So Esau despised his birthright.